Hi and welcome back to my channel. This is Rhea, your study buddy for Hematology and today is going to be a rather personal video. I'm going to share why I ultimately decided to become a clinical lab scientist. I think a lot of people are don't really know what that what that means, what clinical lab science means, but it's a field. And if you look at healthcare, you see nurses and doctors and clinical lab scientists pretty much run the lab part of it. In a nutshell, we're the ones in charge of making sure that what you see in your results are right and we're the ones that run your samples as well. So here are the reasons why I ultimately decided to become a clinical lab scientist. So first one is job security. So that's really important for me when I was in college because when I was in college, the 2012 housing crash happened and during that time I was a mortgage broker assistant and of course that suffered. That actually taught me that whatever field I was going to land into for the long run would be a, you know, a stable career choice. And so I did zero in on healthcare. I knew I wanted to be in healthcare because healthcare will always be there. People will always need healthcare, you know, you, me, everybody. There is no exception. People will always need some sort of healthcare throughout their lifetimes. And so I knew I wanted to be in healthcare. And with job security, you have to really look at it as to is this job gonna be there in the long run? Like if you look at the 2020 situation right now with the pandemic, a lot of in industries have ha a, a lot of industries have suffered, including you know airlines, tourism. These things suffered. Even restaurants are bleeding right now, and you know healthcare were pretty stable. That's you know one thing that I really looked at when choosing a career choice. Number two is money. Okay, so aside from job security, I also considered how much am I gonna spend in school to study what field I wanted to be in and what kind of money was I gonna make after school. And for me, clinical lab science really made sense because I only spent for like another year extra after undergraduate school and that was only like thirteen thousand dollars for the whole program during my time i don't know how much it is now but that's only thirteen thousand dollars extra after your bachelor's degree that's how it's done in the states so we do a four-year program first to get your bachelor's degree because a bachelor's degree is required in order to get into a clinical lab science program so after that some programs are even for free. You get your licensure exam and when you pass it, you earn pretty well after that. It was a great, you know, bargain. You wouldn't suffer a long time paying off your debts because you're earning pretty well right off the bat after graduating. So if you compare the amount of money we spent on school for clinical lab science, it's really nothing compared to like what you would spend if you were pursuing pharmacy or dentistry or um, what, what else? Doctor, being a doctor, that's a lot more time after undergraduate, after your four-year degree, that's a lot more time and a lot more money spent. And, and for me, it wasn't really applicable because I am a first-generation immigrant. And so, you know, we didn't own a house. We just lived in a small apartment. And it's just, it's not practical for me to be in school that long. I needed to earn money as soon as I can. That's one of the reasons I decided to become a clinical lab science because you get a lot more for your money's worth and in so little time. Like you get to graduate pretty fast. The third reason as to why I decided on becoming a clinical lab scientist is because I've always wanted to be in science. I don't know what it is, but when I was a child, I would go through a toy store and I'd be so interested in like a miniature microscope or a stethoscope, like those sets. I really loved those as a child, but I never really bought any of those because we were poor. <laughs> We didn't have money to buy those things, but then I knew that eventually when I grew up, I wanted to work in the science field. Originally, I was doing nursing because that's what a good Filipino child should do. <laughs> no offense, but 
but a lot of people in my family expected me to become a nurse and I originally wanted to do architecture when I was in the Philippines but I was forced into doing nursing instead because my dad had a different view of things and so oh, okay so I just did nursing because it was you know the thing to do <laughs> when I did my year of nursing in the Philippines I had to move to America after that because of my visa situation I had to go back to the States and then when I came back to the States I got stuck I had to stay here for good and so I still continued trying to do nursing but I just did not enjoy the classes I just wasn't happy like my grades were C, B and the nursing programs are pretty impacted so if you wanted to do nursing you better have A's like straight A's so that your application could be considered otherwise like you have no business doing nursing really but there are also programs that do lottery and so you have a chance of getting into a program through that but otherwise if you don't hit a certain grade then why are you even bothering and my grades were not were not good because i really didn't enjoy those classes but when i did you know microbiology as a prereq for nursing that was when it really hit me that i really had no business doing nursing because even if the class was a lot harder than the other prerequisites for nursing the grades that i got for microbiology and you know the main biology uh, biology 101a was it this is the hardcore biology it was like five units with lab that was hard but i did ace like what is wrong with me <laughs> that's how i figured out that i should probably pursue a career that's more science centered than more healthcare because clinical lab science is literally being a scientist so it really hones into that skill Set, like that passion of yours so that's why I also was convinced that nursing wasn't for me and that I should probably do a career that's more related to microbiology which I really fell in love with when I was doing the prerequisites for nursing and then the fourth thing is I was really not into actual patient care <laughs> like in-person patient care I sucked at it I feel like I get stressed more than the patient <laughs> so um, I was a reg registered dental assistant for how many, many, many years and I just knew that I couldn't do this for the rest of my life by catering to um, patients and the thing with dental is that it's not just patient care, it's also kind of customer care because patients can choose whichever dentist they want to be with and so you really have to cater to them too because you want them to have a great experience with you. Um, with nursing and with other healthcare which like like hospital related healthcare stuff, it's different because they don't really have a choice to like, oh I don't like you, I want another nurse. You can't really say that. It's like actual patient care stresses me out and when I applied for nursing school because I just I finished all my prerequisites for nursing because I was like damn it I'm already in here I might as well just you know finish everything apply and if I don't get it then that's for sure for sure God's way of telling me this is not for you yeah I didn't get in <laughs> newsflash I didn't get in but then yeah so after that um, I did so during that time of applying I did a volunteer work for a hospital where I would go into their rooms the patients rooms and show them a menu of what the food is for the next day and so I would interact with them and I would talk to them and I was like oh do you want to do you want potatoes do you want eggs do you want this and that for tomorrow and like half the time that you go into the patients room they're not responsive like they're just like not even talking I don't know if they're sedated or they're they're going through something I don't know but I end up choosing their food for the next day because <laughs> they just give me this blank stare and then they also like nod and and I was just so sad like it was just so sad like when I was in the Philippines and when my family one of my family members would get sick there's the whole crew in your room like the whole family is there and I wouldn't you know it wouldn't be a struggle choosing your food because people would actually bring your food to your room your family would be there and I was just 
in a culture shock kind of situation like this is so lonely and so sad and depressing and I couldn't deal with it I feel like if I was gonna do this for the rest of my life as a career I have to be able to manage the stress and the um, what else the stress that came with it and I just didn't think that was gonna work for me personally and so that's that so but then you know in clinical lab science we still save lives in a way like we still call you know critical hemoglobins um, you know we still detect leukemias when we look at a patient's slide and that is very important that those are pivotal moments on patient health care so you are still caring for people but you're not visually there like you don't you don't need to like see the sadness and the pain on their faces you just work in the background and you're still taking care of them in one way or another which leads me to my last point which is you know you have a sense of anonymity and you work in the background so not pe not many people actually know what you do or who you are or if you did anything to make them you know better but you know in your heart that you did something to make people's lives better while doing your job right and that that gives me fulfillment and that makes me happy um, we work in the background and we make sure that everything is good um, in the back end of things make sure making sure that the patient gets taken care of because they have the right lab results I enjoy it I enjoy the anonymity and I enjoy the fact that people don't know what I do <laughs> and I also like the fact that Patients don't know who I am. You know, you're able to help, but you're like an undercover agent. Nobody knows who you are. And that's that. So, so yeah, overall, it's just a really nice field to be in. Like money-wise, job security, these things you, you want to look out for when you're trying to decide on what career you want to pursue long-term because these things matter. You know, the money, the job security, especially like if you look at how the world is today, like it's really hard to predict what's going to happen tomorrow or the next day. You want to invest in your education and make sure that in the end, your invested time doing, you know, school will also come back to you in a way that it will support you for a good amount of time. Like if you did clinical lab science, you only have to do another extra year and a half of school after your four-year college. And then in return, you get so much in return. And that's that. So I hope... I, you know, helped you decide on what career you want to take and I gave you an idea of what, you know, I, things I, things that I considered personally in my journey on why I decided to become a clinical lab scientist. And yeah, that's it. So thank you for watching today and I hope you have a good rest of the day. So bye and I'll see you on the next one.